are the rather shocking images of Roger Ebert just released by Roger himself, who is bravely showing the ravages from his battle with cancer with a smile. It's tonight's story from Stage 28. Smiling broadly with his trademark thumbs up, his neck wrapped in gauze, Roger isn't concealing his condition. Instead, as he wrote in his column yesterday, quote, to paraphrase a line from Raging Bull, I ain't a pretty boy no more. Since 2002, Roger has undergone four debilitating surgeries for cancer of the thyroid and salivary gland. The most recent was last June, in which doctors had to remove part of his right jaw. The 64-year-old critic released the pictures before his appearance tonight at his ninth annual Overlooked Film Festival. He said, quote, we spend too much time hiding illness. I'm not going to miss my festival. Roger says he also had to have a tracheostomy and for the time being is unable to speak. He makes do with written notes and a lot of hand gestures and eye rolling. I'm not sure I wanted reality in this film. Roger first gained national prominence when he and rival Chicago columnist Gene Siskel began duking it out in 1982 with their syndicated show, At the Movies. Otherwise, this is oh, I really worthless. Their needling of one another helped make the show a hit, and the two of them unlikely stars. We are not on the Beverly Hills cocktail party circuit, so that we're a little more objective, I think. When Siskel died in 1999 from a brain tumor, Roger was devastated. Now that he's gone, um, I realize it was, it was the great friendship of my life. Ebert has continued to offer his film reviews on TV and print in the years since. And while his cancer may have rendered him unable to speak for now, he's intent on letting his famous thumb do the talking. He said, quote, I still have my brain and my typing fingers. And Roger, you have all of our best wishes. We'll be with Roger tonight in Illinois at his film festival, and we'll have it covered for you tomorrow.